You explained it beautifully, and, and I love the way you described the, the power center, because that's really it. Certain tumors, you're telling me, inside your body, they have certain parts of the actual tumor that function as, let's say, the power plant or the energy for that tumor. Right now, the radiation beams we use are almost akin to just kind of trying to evaporate the whole thing. If we can target the beams, at those certain cells or that certain area, which is uh, the area that will cause the malignancy to spread. You kind of cut the head off the snake or take the electricity out of the entire building type of thing. And if you can tailor that to every patient that you're saying would one be, I'm saying that'll be phenomenal, but that will also be very difficult to do from patient to patient because every single patient will have a complex tumor and you can identify using artificial intelligence along with the modalities you have in your PET scans and CAT scans that are coming down the line, which we'll speak about in a minute. But aligning those two together, you can use the artificial intelligence to help kind of decide where to focus the beam and decrease and potentially decrease the total amount of radiation the patient gets, the total amount of pain, the total amount of side effects, but also kind of precision target that beam to knock out the power center for that tumor. Am I understanding that correctly? You explained it beautifully. And, and I love the way you described the, the power center because that's really it. And you know what? is so fascinating, compelling, but also cruel about cancer is the fact that some of those lesions look like bad lesions. Some of them are worse than others. And it's difficult to really pick out which one's the bad one and which one isn't, right? The real discrimination here is that some lesions are resistant to the radiation therapy. And there are certain features within the tumor imaging seek, um, signature, if I could put it like that, that are starting to hint at which tumors might be resistant to therapy and which tumors aren't. And if they're resistant, what we need to do to overcome that resistance, you know, for some tumors, and there's evidence now emerging that some tumors resistant can be overcome with higher radiation.